baby girl. Hi. Hi. Dear my baby girl. Hello. Hello, welcome. I'm Lexi and this is Kissy Bear. I usually upload videos every Friday, sometimes Saturday, depending on how our week goes. Today we're going to be trying a full face of Shein makeup, particularly the She Glam line. I don't know if they have any other makeup, but I got a full face and they were having a 60% off sale. So I paid like $50 for a full face of makeup minus setting spray and setting powder because I forgot them. We'll be using, you know, Maybelline Fit Me powder today in place of setting powder and uh, my Smashbox 24 hour setting spray in place of uh, setting spray. I don't even know if they had any on that site. Honestly, I just completely spaced those two things. They did end up getting my boxy charm to me. I don't know what happened. <coughs> and then found or uh, the tracking was just not right I don't know but it came in today so I'll be filming a boxycharm video after this that will be going up probably after this video so all right so I've already primed my face and we are ready to go first up we have the she glam Silky Ultra Wear Foundation. It says Essence Like Light. So I don't know what that means. It says Silky Radiance. The Silky Smooth Foundation blends perfectly with the skin, creating a radiant effect with a moisture rich texture. You can refine your skin texture by diminishing pores, fine lines, and other flaws. Sounds right up my alley. And uh, the package is like this super soft matte type box which I really like it makes it feel luxurious the bottle is a glass bottle it has a pump it is very nice I don't remember how many shades they had but I did guess and I just got the number two beige so let's see how she works out So it pumps out, it's pretty thick, uh, seems kind of like a tinted moisturizer, it smells pretty good, it has like a light floral scent, it kind of smells like the AOA Studio um, foundation, the satin one, and I really like the way that smells, so I'm not mad about it. Just going on very nice. Seems to have a a silk like finish. I'm wondering if, if this isn't the same. I mean no, this is thicker than the AOA foundation. The other the AOA foundation is a little bit more liquidy. But it seems almost the same besides the consistency. So far, I am really liking the way this is going on. It doesn't seem to be sinking into my fine lines too much so far. All right, so, so far, so good with the foundation. I know I just put it on so we'll see how it looks, you know, at the end of the video. I don't really do a uh, wear test, but I'll try to maybe come back on here after a couple hours and let y'all know uh, how it is holding up. Up next we have the uh, uh, She Glam Eye Candy Pro Longwear Concealer and I got it in the shade 203 Greenland. Again. That was just a guess. Hopefully I guessed correctly. 
It comes in just like a standard like cardboard box packaging. Uh, none of the packaging for this entire line is very cohesive really. Uh, it's all for the most part packaged differently. Okay, it says for that youthful supple glow, this long wear concealer has a unique anti-aging complex to recover skin elasticity and flexibility, reducing the effect of fine lines and wrinkles made with antioxidants from perilla per per leaves. The formula provides a soft and supple glow to your skin. She looks like this. It's a pretty long tube. You get a lot for your money. Kind of reminds me of the NARS uh, packaging. I don't know, this concealer is a little darker than I would normally get, I feel like. But it does seem to do the job and it's very creamy. It feels really nice. This concealer feels so nice. I think I will actually use this a lot. It felt really, really moisturizing going on. And it just, it actually looks really good. It's all right, so next we have the waterproof eyebrow pencil. It says it is natural and soft. Get out of there. And I got this in the cup in the I got the eyebrow pencil in the shade 01 Coffee. Okay, so the eyebrow pencil also comes in that soft matte type box like the foundation did. I really like these types of boxes. If I were to have a makeup line, that's what my packaging would be. Okay, so let's see. On one end we get a spoolie. And on the other end we get like a triangle type pencil. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. I haven't used a pencil shaped like this before. So I'm barely touching my face with a pencil and it is gliding right on there which is really nice. It makes it easy to like outline where I want my brows to be. And honestly, it kind of reminds me of, do y'all remember those art pencils that like you peel away to sharpen them, the black ones? I don't remember what they're called, but it kind of reminds me of that, how easily it draws. So you just have to go in very light handedly with the brow pencil as you can tell uh, it, it doesn't take much. This product also needs to be set down with like a gel or something because it does wipe away easily which I think is great for if you're not that good at doing your brows and you have to wipe away your mistakes. Um, but as for like staying power, I don't think that's the greatest thing. Next up we have the She Glam Metallic Glow Bronzer and it comes in like this gold box. Alright, so it looks like this kind of gives me the essence feels, like uh, it reminds me of their highlighters. And I got this in the shade 606 Pluto. So we're just gonna go in with our Pac-Man brush. So it looks a little pink, which is not terrible, but not really what I lean towards. Yeah. 
if you hear my chief troublemaker, it's because he's standing right here, just, you know, making trouble. Ever since he started walking, he is in everything. Such a happy baby and so curious. And I feel like this first year has just flown by because it's only two months until he turns one already. I wish y'all could see him. He's laying on my feet down here, kicking his little legs. It's the cutest thing. We will go in with the She Glam face palette powder is what it's called but it's blush and it comes in this holographic uh, packaging which I love everything holographic so I'm here for that and it comes in this little flat silver packaging the clear plastic lid I got this in the color blush tangerine 01 this is what it looks like this also reminds me of Essence as far as their uh, mosaic blush packaging goes. Right? Just... Flick upwards with this. Kind of blend it into that bronzer. Is a very it is matte I like matte blushes oh god I'm just gonna set this down and I uh, change my mind we're gonna use the NYX dewy finish setting spray today kids are watching movies in the living rooms so hopefully I don't get copyright strike because I can't close the door I have to be able to see them and hear them you know that parenting stuff Next up, we have the Peachy She Glam 3D Pro Face Palette. It says the powders are formulated with vitamin E and are 100% free of parabens, mineral oils, perfume, and phthalates. So this is what it looks like. It comes with this protective plastic covering. And it has one cream this is the cream highlight and then three powders and since I've already put powder and set my face I'm gonna go ahead and go in with one of the with one of the um, powder highlights let's swatch got the red the champagne. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, man, that's pretty. And also the white, which is also very pretty. Those are beautiful shades. I think that I'm going to go in with the champagne shade. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like it. And now I'm going to do... The white on my nose. Let's do a little white here. I got two palettes. I got the She Glam Sea Foam and the She Glam Rhapsody because I just thought that they were both so pretty and they had some pretty interesting shades. This is how she looks. These are the shades for the Sea Foam palette. They are not very pigmented. Most of these are two swipe swatches. The battery is about to die. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> He's trying to pull me out from under the door. He grabbed my hand and pulled it. Mm -hmm. Hi, there my baby goes. Whoops, I was playing peekaboo under the door. It's been a few hours and I've cooked dinner, I've eaten dinner and everything, and this foundation still looks really good. Now, obviously I'm not out in the weather or anything, I'm just in the house, but uh, so far so good nonetheless. 
All right, now where were we? We just swatched the green palette, and now for the Rhapsody palette, the purple palette. They also had like two or three, maybe one or two other colors of this eyeshadow palette, but the green and the purple are just kind of what spoke to me the most. Here's what the purple palette looks like. So pretty. And it has uh, some of them marbly shades in there as well. So I'll go ahead and swatch that real quick. The shimmers and the mattes both are just so soft. However, these shades are not very pigmented right off. This is the purple palette swatched and these are two swipe swatches. Now as much as I love the purple palette, the green palette is really what's speaking to me today. So that is the one we are going to use today. So uh, let's start off with the sea algae color down here in the corner. This sort of minty color and put that in our crease. It is definitely buildable. Now we're going to go in with this grotto color here. I'm just going to clean my brush off. And we're going to like focus that a little more in the crease and the outer corner. The names on this are so cute. It's Mint, Tequila Sunrise, Stingray, Bartender, Blue Hawaii. Grotto, Sea Algae, Margarita, and Peach. I mean, that's so friggin' cute. Gives me definite summer vibes. I think the shimmery shades are mainly to be used as like an eyeshadow topper than they are on their own. I'm sure they could be used on their own. Let's do mint all over our lids. And mint is just this like pastel green blue up at the top. All right, and then now I'm just gonna go in with Bartender, which is this pretty shimmery shade right here over the top. And that's just with pressing it on my finger. Now let's try it with some Fix Plus and see how that works. Oh yeah, Fix Plus always helps everything. Okay, and now for my inner quarter, I am gonna go in with this margarita shade here. I'm just gonna spray a little Fix Plus on my brush for that as well. For the sake of smoking out our look, let's take some of this Tequila Sunrise, which used to be one of my favorite drinks by the way. This Tequila Sunrise here. We're going to put that on our lower lash line. We'll maybe do a little grotto right here on the ends as well, just to blend those together. Freaking beautiful. I really love this palette. And these are some colors that I never thought or could picture myself really using. I just wanted to go outside of my box a little bit and I'm so glad I did. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Escape from the purple palette and I'm just gonna use that to blend up to my brow bone. So this is the finished shadow look and I, I'm really liking it. 
to use our Diamond Silk Liquid Eyeliner from She Glam. It's in the color black. The packaging is cute. It's got like a diamond edged top up here and like a little diamond on the top. A little rhinestone, whatever you call it. But I think that's really cute. She's cute. I like her. It has a fine tip there. And oh wow. It draws easy and it's like really black. Um, I have to get really close to the mirror to do my eyeliner. Uh, <laughs> am I alone in that? I don't know. But uh, this fine tip makes it really, and because it draws so easy, it makes it really, really easy to get on my lash line. I'm pretty sure I paid like $1.50 for this, and this is a damn good liquid eyeliner. Wow, yeah, this eyeliner is super easy to use. I'm definitely going to be using this again. I also got the She Glam Perfect Curling Mascara. I'm going to let you know that I do not have high hopes for this mascara. I just don't, in my experience, cheap mascaras just never work that great. Um, but I would love for it to prove me wrong. I've been pretty surprised with some of these. Oh, wow. Wow, so when you pull it out of the box, it's a metal tube. It feels very luxurious in your hand. This feels like really heavy and nice. I like the chic black packaging. Okay, and the wand is kind of like a Christmas tree wand. Let's see how she works. So this is the eye with mascara. This is without. I don't see a huge difference. It definitely gave my lashes a little bit of curl, but nothing too crazy. Uh, I wouldn't say length or volume or a factor here. Let me go ahead and do the other one now. Alright, so that's with the mascara, and now we're going to be trying, last but not least, oh wait, not last, we still have lipsticks. So now we'll be trying their She Glam Mega Volume Multi-Layered Perfect Radian Magic Long Lasting 24 Hours Lashes. Okay, and they come in this thin plasticky marble type looking and these were pretty cheap uh, for three pairs of lashes they're pretty they feel very soft and like f fluffy they feel really nice they kind of feel like those naked lashes that I tried last week the way I do my lashes I just paint the glue on like liner that way I can be sure to stick them in the right place I'm gonna get a little tacky I'm gonna just bend our lashes to curl them a bit just fit around the shape of our eye and then we're gonna just stick them right on there a lot of people use um, like an eyelash um, eyelash tweezers or actual tweezers to put their eyelashes on. That's really hard for me. I have a much easier time just sticking my eyelashes straight on. Last but not least, I got this Star Velvet Lip Glaze set in O2 Elegant. And it comes with three colors in this magnetic case to keep them in. And it has a like red color. They remind me of like the Jeffree Star minis. Let's see. Ooh, that is a deep red. A very deep red. So that's this one. And we've got like this pinky purple mauve looking color here. And so that's that one. It's pretty. 
they're kind of bleeding on my hand a little bit like they have oil in them if you can see I have this like nude pink shade here oh yeah that's definitely my kind of color that's that one there so pretty okay so obviously we're gonna we're gonna go with the nude shade so that is it that is our final look with our full face of Shein makeup and y'all I got all of this I got all of this for $50. That's a lot. That's a full face with two eyeshadow palettes, you know? That is an excellent price. And overall, I've been pretty surprised and happy with all my purchases. Um, you know, the lipstick now that's dried down is dried a little sticky. I think probably the only things I won't use again are the mascara and maybe the brow pencil but not because the brow pencil was bad but because it's I'm in Texas and it's hot and if I sweat then my eyebrows will wash away uh, so you know um, maybe I'll use it to outline them before I put my actual brow product in my eyebrows so that's all for today. I really appreciate you sticking around and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments what were your favorite products that I used today and uh, what you might be thinking about trying. I would love to know. I think my favorite was honestly um, the eyeliner. I think it was the eyeliner, really. It was just so easy to use. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would absolutely love that. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a video. I'll see you next time. Bye!